know, Bloxy Burgers just got renovated and it is absolutely stunning. Like it's got its own drive-through, full outdoor seating. The inside is huge. This kitchen is bigger than my forehead. And they even added new jobs. So I thought in today's video, I'm gonna be building a retro diner in Bloxburg using the new updated items and then inviting all of my subscribers to come to the opening. So if you guys wanna participate in a future video like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Okay, first we have to name the plot. So my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. You get it? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And secondly, we need a new outfit because this ain't it, honey. So three, two, one. And we are officially a 1950s retro diner gal. And not only this, we've also got Gordon Ramsay here to help me build my retro diner. So thank you to Bella for making this decal. I will be using it a lot now. A lot. If you see anyone else using this decal, they're like, whoa, that is Alaska's husband? So as you can see, we've got a little shell of what I want to do for the retro diner. And I've also gathered a ton of decals. And as you can see, this diner is going to be called AV Diner. And all these decals are made from this person right here. So full credits to them. I've actually never built a retro diner in Bloxburg before. I've always wanted to. Like in the back of my head, I'm like, oh, I really want to build a retro diner. So I'm so happy that I'm doing it today. Okay, so pretty much when Bloxburg updates, they let out a bunch of new furniture items. So I actually haven't seen the new furniture items yet. So I'm kind of excited. Excited, but nervous, but excited. Also, when I think of a retro diner, I think of like, I don't know if you guys have ever watched Riverdale, but they had this retro diner and it was called Pops. That's what it feels like I'm doing right now. But instead of Pops, it's gonna be called AV Diner. Okay, so the front of this diner obviously has to be red because well, duh. And if we go into new, as you can see, there's a bunch of new items. <gasps> there's a drive-through window. You're telling me they didn't add this before I started making them videos? Luxburg always does this to me. Every single time I make custom stuff, they're like, actually, let's just build it after Alaska finished her video. Oh my gosh, have you guys ever went to Karen's Diner? <laughs> if you haven't been to Karen's Diner, pretty much it's like a diner where people get paid to be mean to you. I'm just thinking, what if like an elderly woman walks into Karen's Diner not knowing that they're like paid to be mean to her and act like Karen's? That grandma would probably be so confused. She'd be like, um, excuse you. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna add LED lights on like the outside of the roof. Oh, get out of here. That looks scrumptious. We're also gonna have a little bit of outdoor seating and a few car parking spots. Okay, if we're going to decorate, what's all the new stuff? <gasps> oh my gosh, there's so many new things. Folded frame door sign. Okay, yes, that is going right at the front. Sculpt fabric awning. Are you kidding me? Do you remember the struggle I had to go through to make these curtains? And now Bloxburg's like, actually, you know what? Let's just add them after Alaska struggled. I don't know if I'm happy or excited. Oh, look at these. They're called flip-flop trash cans. <laughs> Wait, that's so cute. That's called a trash can cute. Like, what? Say what? $20,000 for a trophy. Um, no thanks. Is there like outdoor tables and chairs? Oh, there is. Metal table. Very cute. Oh, there's also a drink machine. But I have to reach level 45. Oh, that's rude. The one thing I don't like about these tables is you can't change the material. Oh my gosh, they've got food bags. Again, I had to custom make this like two days ago. Plastic condiment bottle. Oh, we definitely need these. You can have like two of them and paint one of them yellow. So it's like custard and tomato sauce. Did I just call mustard custard? You know in some retro diners when they have like the bikes at the front. We have like two of them there. Like I feel like a group of teenagers would just like come here after school and have a little milkshake, you know? And to be that extra bit fancy, we can add a few of these traditional pillars. And then finally, some wall trims. And I'm feeling like checkered tiles today. See, they kind of look good. Look good. They look amazing, actually. Oh, and I can't forget the side of the building. I always forget the side in the back of the building just because like, who's gonna check the side in the back? Now for the final touch, we just need the big poster up the top here. So just copy this decal and then place it at the front. To make this more realistic, we're just going to put thin chains and connect them to the roof. Oh, I love it! Okay, finally. Side eye. Oh, you thought I was done? No. Need some posters on the windows. We can't actually place posters on the windows, so what I do is just place like semi-transparent cube and lift it right up to the window. And this way I can place a poster on the top. I have a Coke. Is that Marilyn Monroe? I wish you could just place things on windows. It would make life so much easier. Okay, and I think that's the outside done. So now we can add a little car. And you already know what car I'm going to be adding. This board bullet and the convertible. Oh, we can have like a red and green car. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Okay, I definitely need a fence here. I already know what's going to happen. One of you guys are gonna drive your car and crash into the person sitting there. I also need to add like an arrow to where you need to drive in because you guys have no idea. Every time I invite you into my openings, you know what you do? You just drive the wrong way and you end up having like a car crash. So there we go. I gave you a little arrow to make it clearer. I love how Gordon Ramsay's just there like, you better drive the right way. Yeah, cat food. Be disgusting. <laughs> I don't know why he's so tall. It's giving Slenderman. He can be our little mascot. There you go. 
Oh my god, my alarm went off for me to eat breakfast and I just had a heart attack. Oh, I didn't even have to make my own custom made drive through poster. There's already one. Oh, that is so good. Okay, and the outside of the diner is all complete. So now we can start working on the inside. And for the floors, I want to have checkered flooring. But the only way for me to do this is add a floor in each and every single square and paint it a different color. If there is an easier way to do this, definitely comment it down below. Because I'll just be sitting here for like five minutes like, can this floor hurry up in place? Oh my gosh. Okay, done. Now we just have to paint it. A few moments later. One hour later. You know what? The result actually turned out really good. So I'm glad I done that. And for the inside, we're going to do a mixture of like cloudy gray, teal, and red. I know a bit of a funky combination, but this is a funky diner, okay? They should make diners like this more often, to be honest. I would so go to a retro diner. I'm so craving a milkshake right now. They've added booths after I've been custom making them. Like I can't make up my mind because there's so many. We can do something like this. We can do something like that. These Bloxburg developers are like eaten up recently. These updates have literally been amazing. I was going to make a custom made table, but luckily for me, they added these cute lemonade restaurant tables. So I feel like we need to add more funky colors. And now all we need to do is just fill in these tables. Oh my god, look how cutesy my character looks right now. Oh, and we can't forget some napkins because you know when you're like eating a nice juicy burger? Now it's time to put some posters up on the wall. Really make this retro. Just by adding the posters, that looks so much better. I guess we can add the new doors for the bathroom and the staff room. Okay, now for the fun bit, which is adding the island benches at the front. Oh my god, wait, what is this? Wall mounted counter. Oh, that is so cool. You know what? We're gonna have pink island benches. Obviously, we need the menu item somewhere. So if we put a basic shape at the top of the roof like this and then just follow that all the way around, I should probably make this more secure because last time I just kind of broke in and destroyed my kitchen. <laughs> oh damn, look how cool this looks. Are you kidding? I've made up my mind. I want LED strip all along the roof. Is it expensive? Yes. Do I care? No. Okay, at the back. Oh, Oh my gosh, why is my alarm so loud? I want to make sure that I've added everything from the new category. So we're literally just going to place like a bunch of things. Ooh, a mounted soap dispenser. Actually, we can use this as like a, you know how milkshakes have different Ooh. toppings? We can use it as that. Oh, never mind. They literally have a condiment dispenser. I just didn't see it. Oh, what's this? They've got dish racks. That is so cool. Oh, wait, wait. Do they have? I'm pretty sure they do. Oh, they do. They've got a jukebox. Oh, okay, so adding that. Thing is, where do we add it? We can add it over here. What else do they have? Oh, they've got a disco ball. Should we add a disco ball like at the front here? Sure, why not? We're gonna add a disco ball. They've also got this like retro phone. So you can add this over here in case people wanna like call someone, I don't know. And you know what, in case people get bored, they can watch the TV on this retro TV. And we need to make sure to add all of our menu items up here as well. <gasps> Cup dispensers, stop. This is now officially my favorite thing in Bloxburg. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Damn, touchscreen cash register. Uh, yeah, don't mind if I do, we'll add that right there. Oh my gosh, it's got a thing to swipe your card and everything. This is so fancy. In retro diners, they always had a bunch of notes. This way they can read their menus like, can I get a Big Mac? Super size my fries. Give me a Big Mac. Super size my fries. And a little commercial display case to show our little muffins. And the last thing we need in here is some stools. Some table. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh wait, I forgot to eat my pineapple. <laughs> Sorry, that was so gross. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the f Okay, so the front bit of the diner is done. So now we can start working on the bathroom. And as you can see, they added a bunch of new bathroom products for wall mounted sinks which we're going to be adding here and a hand dryer oh my gosh look it's even got the push and the thing okay and for our soap dispensers we'll put these here because we cannot forget to wash our hands you dirty pig you should wash your hands you dirty pig retro diners usually have like very small mirrors so we won't make them too big okay, so we're gonna have one disabled toilet and then two regular toilets okay they added these new pro flush toilets i think these are for guys because you wouldn't catch me using that <laughs> and for our disabled toilet, all we're gonna do differently is just have a little grab bar here, like this, with like a little stool in the corner and put the doors in. So we're gonna add a booth in the toilet, okay? This is a fancy retro toilet. Okay, now finally for the kitchen. Firstly, we're gonna make this entire section like one big 
counter because usually in these videos I always run out of counter space I don't know why this time we are not running out of counter space I don't know why I do this but I put trays on top of trays like what's the purpose of this I have no idea I feel like it just makes it look more realistic than just like leaving it empty so what's things we need in a diner I feel like we need an ice cream machine two coffee machines just in case one of them breaks a beverage fridge a beverage fridge why do I struggle to say that okay we can't forget our oven and stove can you imagine I forgot an oven and stove I think I did once we also need a few fryers what do you use fries for I still don't know donuts wait the blocks might have donuts yeah they do what else oh we need a toaster you know what I need to write a list of everything I need in my kitchens before I start because let's be honest what's the bet I forget something oh for example you know a microwave and then along this section this is where the driveway delivery person's gonna go oh you guys are already here I'm scared who's gonna tell everyone that I'm not ready <laughs> hopefully I won't get any food thrown at my face that wouldn't be a vibe and for the computer you know what we're gonna use this old crusty dusty teen hundreds computer oh my god <laughs> I'm scared. I'm gonna copy Gordon Ram Ram. I'm gonna place him by the window. You know what? He can work at the window. See, so yeah, you come to the window. And then he's like, hello, can I take your order? <laughs> oh, we can have pink ovens. That's so girly pup. Okay, and just like that, our retro diner is all complete and comes to a total of $250,000. That is one expensive diner. So I think the outside turned out really cute. I'm actually obsessed with it. And I think the inside is even better. So I'm super excited for you guys to come and have a look. Bark, bark. Um, okay, this we're off to a good start. Ex oh my god, what what is that? Ah! Excuse me, we have a parking spot for a reason. Why is there a car? Get your car out of my door. Bark, bark, bark. Why do you guys keep barking at me? Well, at least no one's broken in yet. Ah! Okay, so you know what? While everyone is waiting, okay, I guess we can start playing some music. Get the vibes up in here. Okay, we've got some music going. We'll turn on the TV as well. I think the back of the kitchen's ready. So now it is time to let everyone inside. I'm scared. I'm scared to open these doors. <laughs> you know what? Surprisingly, I haven't seen the squirrel or the pigeon yet. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to AV Diner. Please line up. Okay, okay, I'm not ready. Okay, ugh. Um, excuse me. Could you get out of my kitchen? Okay, make sure to line up, please. Why is there so many people? I don't know where to go oh no someone's stealing my money get out of my money we nearly had a ro hey hey don't take my money what are you doing imagine if another protest starts i do not need that negative energy in here please hi alaska can i get a milkshake please of course i love your outfit oh my god what's happening all right one milkshake coming up i'm actually a really bad worker because i didn't even ask her what milkshake she wants she just asked for a milkshake and i'm like okay we've got strawberry milkshake vanilla milkshake chocolate milkshake you know what you know what? we're gonna give her a chocolate milkshake okay wait i need to blend this ah! i'm scared to blend my milkshake everyone's just like staring at me in anticipation okay milkshake who wanted the chocolate milkshake i actually don't remember i think it was them actually here is your chocolate milkshake sorry for the wait here you go madam here is your chocolate milkshake oh this person's also sitting down on my booth we love to see it you know what i'm gonna give her one as well because i'm feeling generous hi thank you for lining up welcome to ab diner what can i get you do you guys like my customer service voice okay this person just wants a coffee and this person wants a vanilla milkshake <laughs> wait what did they order oh i'm off like this i love how like five people have just broken into my kitchen and I just give up oh my gosh there is that a chicken is that a chicken Okay, now we need to fry these bad boys. Gordon Ramsay, you're meant to be protecting the kitchen from people who break in, and so far, you're doing an awful job. I will protest. Where is my burger? Oh my gosh, it's coming up, I promise. Guys, don't protest, please. Your burger is coming up. I've asked about burger wrong. <laughs> Wait, did they order one or two? Gordon Ramsay looking kind of juicy. What's going on back here? Okay, who ordered the burger? I did. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> he looks very mad right now. May I have a coffee, please? I'm parched. Of course, my darling. This is the only time I can be free from your basement, Alaska. Shh, don't tell them. Okay, one coffee. Okay, I think it was Olet, so here's your coffee. Have a vanilla milkshake. Um, okay, okay. Oh, I'm like stressing out. I can't do this by myself. As you know, in my last Dunkin' Donuts videos, my work has kind of left me. Okay, I'm pretty sure these people ordered a burger. Squirrel wants burger. Well, guess what, Squirrel? Here's your lucky day. Here's your burger. Give me a McFlurry. Does this look like McDonald's to you? See, who needs five workers? I can just do this by myself. Can I get a water? The burger was salty. <laughs> Alaska, I need my food. Oh, wait, look at him. He's so cute. Okay, um, I actually don't remember what you ordered, but in compensation, here is a burger. And a coffee because I'm feeling generous. Oh my, what is that? 
Yo, what is that? Ew. I just realized we have someone at the window, so we're gonna have to quickly serve them. Hi, what can I get for you? I love her motorbike, by the way. It looks really cool. Guys, she's been waiting here so long. She started to fall asleep. Can I get a burger and a juice box, please? Interesting combo, but we can do that. Okay, while we cook up her burgers, I guess we can give her a juice box. I feel like I'm interrupting something here. He goes, and it's an honor to meet you. Is he talking to Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> this guy's having a full conversation with him. I like all of your shows, even Hotel Hell. Boy, mate, what's going on? I feel like I'm third wheel in here. I just realized we haven't checked the front count. Why is there a car inside of my building? Whose car is that? Who is responsible for crashing their car inside of my diner? It was one of you. I know it. It was you, wasn't it? Guys, I don't know how we're gonna get the car out of the diner. Like, um, okay. All right, well, I think that's it for today's diner opening. Surprisingly, no protests, which to me is a good sign. So yeah, that was me building a retro diner in Bloxburg using the new updated items. Surprisingly, the opening went really well, which is not what I was expecting. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you wanna participate in a future video like this, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. What is this guy doing? Okay, bye.